this day. Try to pull our minds off of the pain. Amen. And get it focused on the Lord. Amen. Amen. We know that the Lord is a healer. So while we're praying, uh, let's continue to pray. Amen. For Sister Linda. Praise God. Let's continue to pray uh, for um, Sister Ruth and Son James. Praise God. And there are many others that need a touch of God. Amen. We want to pray that the Lord will touch them. Pray, pray for the service. Pray that the Lord will touch our minds, our heart, our spirit. Amen. And the flow of the Holy Ghost, that the Spirit of the Lord will move and He will accomplish what He desires. Amen. Would you throw your hands in the air and just let's begin to talk to the Father in the name of Jesus. Once again, we're grateful and thankful to be a part of the church, to be in the house of the Lord. We want your presence, Lord, to fill this house. We're thankful for the privilege to come to the house of the Lord and to, to breathe again, God. The struggle of the day, the, the labor, Lord God, we get to come Thank into your presence and feel your strength and the peace of God that passes understanding. We pray that you would release healing, God, upon those tonight that we have, we're praying, we're praying for. Sister Linda, Lord God. Brother James, oh God, and all of those that are sick in body and need a touch of God tonight. We're asking you, Lord God, to lift them up. You said with your stripes we're healed. We declare that, Lord, for Sister Katrina tonight, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we want you to have your way and touch our minds, touch our spirit. The psalm is said, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit of God. Pray that our praise and our worship would be acceptable in your sight tonight. I take authority and dominion over anything, God, that would seek to hinder the will of God. We bind it and we, oh God, loose the power of the Lord. Have your way in this house tonight, God. And Father, we will give you praise in Jesus' name. Would you do that? Would you clap your hands? Would you bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's, let's worship him. If you want to sit, you can sit. Hallelujah. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Would you would you just close your eyes and feel after him for just a moment? He's here. Hallelujah. Feel after the Lord. The presence of the Lord is in the house to help, to heal, to strengthen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, he's here. Hallelujah. To bring hope. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To, to touch our thoughts. Hallelujah. To help us to think about it. Come on, the Spirit of the Lord is in the house. Hallelujah. 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 to you right now. Let your guard down. Come on, take your guard down. Hallelujah. He could touch your spirit right now. He could help your situation right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. On a bad day, the Lord's good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. On a good day, he's good. Yes, he is. Amen. Everybody thankful for the goodness of the Lord. Yes, amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We're so glad to have Amen. Savannah. That right? Amen. So glad to have you in the house of the Lord. Amen. This evening. Praise God. I'm going to do my best right here. Oria, is that right? It's so good, good to have you on behalf of our bishop and this great church. We say welcome to New Birth Tabernacle. Amen. 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 Somebody praise him and thank him for that. Amen. The beautiful thing is he's always there. He's always, thank yes. You. Somebody else. Well, I've been uh, reading about this tree. And it's Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. You, you serve a God that will employ you. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sister.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many folks around here really want the divine favor of God? Yes, sir. Would you lift up your voices right now? Do you really want the divine favor of God? You look for home, my God, to go by. to the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3 and then Matthew 18 and 19 Bless your people here today. Talk to us, Lord, today. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. This phrase, touch and agree in prayer, comes from Matthew 18 and 19. Which say again, I say unto you, that the two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything. They shall ask. It shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. One of the areas that I want to minister to you on this subject, the divine favor of God, too many times when we come to church, we fail to agree with the word. One of the best responses when the word of God is being administered is, thank you, Jesus, or right. well, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Um, it's really something, amen, um, um, in a marriage. I thank God that I, I was very fortunate have a wonderful marriage and um, I know what actually made it wonderful is that we didn't disagree with each other and, and we had a particular issue to talk about and then we would simply agree It's power in agreeing. And this verse from the book of Amos, the prophet is warning Israel about the coming judgment if they do not repent of their sins. Verse 3 illustrates the main problem. Israel and the Lord are not together in their heart or minds. As a result, the Lord's favor is leaving Israel. It's getting somebody that started agreeing right now when I'm preaching. I'm in the book. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cannot have communion with the Lord if we do not agree with him. Right, right. I want the divine favor of the Lord. Yes. Yes. And the key to having divine favor of the Lord 
we got to get to the place to agree with the Lord. The power of agreement. We actually disagree too much. It's time to start agreeing with the truth. We pity pack. We play pity pack party on the truth. And we wonder why we really cannot really have the divine favor of God. Agree means that we are reconciled to Him, our sins fully repented of. You see, Israel had broken their covenant with the Lord. And as a result, God withdrew his fellowship from them. Right. Amen. Uh, some of us need to start agreeing with the Lord. Amen. You want the divine favor of God. It comes by simply agreeing with the word of God. The Lord will not naturally remain with us if we continue to reject him over a period of time. Oh, I definitely want the favor of God. Anybody around here want the favor of God? Will you wave to the Lord? I want your favor. I want the favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm uh, agreeing with God also entails trying to know him more. Yes, more each day yes, right. in our lives, amen, involves studying the Bible, yes, praying, yes, fasting, yes, and looking for a way to witness and bless other people. Some folks seem like they don't agree with outreach because they never show up. Hello. I'm trying to help us. Amen. You want the divine favor of God? Start agreeing with the Lord. The Lord gave us the Holy Ghost to be a witness. And there's opportunities that the Lord gives us, amen, to witness and if we agree with the Lord, there will be favor over our lives. Will you clap your hands and there will be favor over our lives. As we do these things, the Lord's presence will be with us. He will walk with us. Amen. And help us. When we call on him. your preach. And then the favor of God touched me. After I repent, he filled with the Holy Ghost for why I got in the water. He was excited about me repent. Oh, hallelujah. Will you clap your hands on the Lord? Somebody will be started to meet with the Lord. Stop taking it and start agreeing with the Lord. It's important for us to remember that the Lord shows grace and readily knows we live in a fallen world. But he also is a just God. And he does not accept us without unrepentance in our hearts. I want to tell you something tonight. Having a personal experience 
with injustice. You see, if you're living right and agreeing with the Lord, when things happen and you feel unjust, that it happened to you. That you can actually go to the Lord and simply say, God, you are a just God. Yes, yes. <laughs> and God can turn it around. When you have the faith of God and you call on the name of the Lord, he's going to rescue you. He's got the hand of the Lord. He will rescue you. Now they was instructed 
and it was powerful enough. And Joshua was the leader. And they had to agree with Joshua to march as the Lord told him to march. I'm still talking about the power of agreement. Read on, brother. And the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass. I wonder if they ever got bored. Some folk come to church and they get bored coming to the church. They were not bored at all. I kind of feel, amen, while they were marching around there, amen, they had to be quiet. But in that spirit, they were worshiping that God. Will you clap your hands in the Lord? Will you worship him right now? Will you agree with the Lord? Agree with the word of God. Come on, shout it to the Lord. God, ah, the Lord. Come on, I'm agreeing with the Lord. I'm agreeing by his word. Clap your hands, shout it to the Lord. Oh, I want victory. I want the favor of God. Read them, brother. And, it's, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long flag with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. Mm. And the water what is it say with a what? A great shout. <laughs> what is the great shout at New Birth Tabernacle? Yes. A great shout. A great shout. Great shout. Now, I'm going to tell you something that would happen to me. Years ago, through the power of agreement, the Lord told me to take those few people and watch march around all the time. And it didn't make any sense. But I agreed with the Lord. And took a few people and marched around this property and claimed it. The power of agreement. We own every inch of it. Let's thank the Lord for it. Right? The power of agreement. It works. We don't know. And all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend of every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the mm. covenant. Let seven you know what the ark represented? The presence of the Lord. Read on, brother. And let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and come past the city. And let him that his arm pass on before the ark of the Lord. They kept on marching. Yes, they kept on marching. They kept on agreeing with the Lord. Yes, That's what we got to do. Yes, we got to keep on marching. Yes, keep on agreeing with the Lord. If you want the divine favor of the Lord, regardless, amen, of, of how long you have to march, yes. keep on marching. Yes. Keep on agreeing with the Lord. Yes. Clap your hands in the Lord. Yes. Keep on worshiping. Keep on praising the Lord. this church 
worship at the church. But I'm agreeing with the Lord. All right. Amen. And I have experienced some hard times. Amen. And some of you have experienced some hard times. Yes. But don't disagree with the Lord. There are times that you have to force yourself. There are times when you don't feel like clapping your hands. There are times you don't feel like shouting. But shout anyway. And praise God anyway. This service tonight, there's some things that needs here tonight. And the Lord is saying, why don't you agree with me? And then another time, I was working at the post office and I got a letter and it was written for me because I had some things in my background as a juvenile that I never said anything. They sent me a letter and want me to explain. I was finna get fired. And I took the letter to the Lord. Because, but I had been agreeing with the Lord. I was doing my best to agree with the Lord. Yes, yes. And I said, Lord, you're just God. I need help. And I began to put the pen to the paper and send it in. And the divine favor of God reach down and turn everything around. Will you clap your hands in the Lord for the divine favor of God if you just simply start agreeing with the Lord? That's why this verse in Amos is a sober warning to remain holy. We know God is love, that he will not try to trap us in wrongdoing. Instead, he can ask us which place of our lives we need to open to him so that he can make the change. Open it up. As we respond to him, we will become more like him and walk even in a deeper fellowship with the Lord. Amen. Come here, Brother Allen. Big you is I small. I want to hold to God's unchanging hands. And the only way that I continue to hold to God's unchanging hand, I gotta agree with him. Even when it hurts, I gotta agree with him. If I want the divine favor of God on my finances. I got to start agreeing with the Lord. God knows how to bless us. He knows how to put his divine favor on us. Will you clap your hand in the Lord? He knows how to do it.
Ain't no telling what the Lord could do with your life. Oh, and you keep on agreeing with the Lord. Right. We happy hand today. We out there being out there. Like that. Just keep on agreeing with the Lord. Ain't no telling what the Lord can do. Amen. Some folks, and in Pentecost, sometimes people get jealous. The pastor get this old big house. Yeah, yeah. Brown, BMW, it's paid for. A truck. And it ain't Ned dying come from this church. Hello? If you really want to be blessed by the Lord, stop listening to the devil. And you start agreeing with the word of God. Yes. And it's no telling what the Lord will do with your life. Yes. And you clap your hands at the Lord. Yes. Let's say we agree with the Lord, this old fellow retired from two jobs. And started a company. And I couldn't do it without your faith. Stop being stingy. The Bible said you need to pay your tithes 10%. You want to be blessed by the Lord? Start agreeing with Him. We want to be faithful to the house of God? Start agreeing with Him. Reading your Bible. Start agreeing with it. If there's a requirement in the Bible that you need to change the way you dress. Agree with it. Agree with it. I don't want the devil to rob me of any blessings of the God Lord got for me. Now notice this. Touch and agree is powerful. But let me tell you something. You can touch and agree all you want to. But if you don't agree with the word, Ain't nothing going to happen. But if you agree with the word and you touch and agree, there's power. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you ask, he'll do it for you when you clap your hand on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
I want you to talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I need to start agreeing with the Lord. I want your divine favor in my life. This altar's open right now. Anybody here want your divine favor of the Lord on your life? It's time for you. Stop disagreeing. Start agreeing with the Lord. And there's no telling what God will do with your life. If you get to the place, it's to simply start agreeing with the Word of God. Thank you. 